Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer everything from your old tablet to your new Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 or Tab S7 Plus in this case. So when you go over, you're gonna be greeted by copy from your old device. You're gonna hit next. You're gonna download Smart Switch on here. Now, if you don't have it already, because it's an existing Samsung tablet, you can download it from the Google Play Store. But if it's a Samsung tablet, you can just type in Smart Switch in the search and settings, and there you will have it here. So we're just gonna open it up. I'm going to say we're going from an old device to a new one. You might need to update it, as you saw here. And then here, now you can do this wirelessly, but it is quicker to do it with a cable. So that's what I'm gonna do just because it's a quicker way to go about it. So I'm just gonna connect two type C connections to it, and this will make it quicker. So we're gonna select cable, allow the tablet, and then it'll bring everything over. Now, the whole idea behind this is to transfer everything over that you have. That means your built-in storage, everything that's inside your device will basically be able to come over. So contacts, applications, settings, your home screen, your entire home screen will be copied over here. Your images, your videos, audio, everything you want. I am not gonna do the SD card because I'm just gonna take the SD card from here and put it in this tablet. So make that quick and easy. And then you're gonna sign into all of your Google accounts so that you can make sure that all of those transfer as well. So it's gonna move over your accounts and then you're going to need to sign in to all of them. And then once you've entered in everything, then you get greeted, all your accounts have been added. You go ahead and put in your Google services, accept what you want, and then you can go ahead and register your fingerprint or your uh, face recognition, whatever kind of security you want to be on here. Uh, I'm going to skip this for now because I have no need really for security on my tablet. So I'm just gonna skip this, but that is a way of doing it. It is very nice when you don't wanna put in your password. So that is one thing to consider, even if you don't need to hide anything, it's a good way to kind of just do that part. Then you're gonna wanna sign into your Samsung account. In our hidden features video, we're gonna go over why you want a Samsung account so much. So let's go ahead and do it now. Make sure to set that up. And then it will just finish transferring everything over. Now keep in mind first, it's gonna say it has transferred everything over to the device. That does not mean you're done. What that means is it's that it's been all moved over here, but then it still needs to unpack it basically. So basically first it transfers everything over to this one. You can then disconnect it. After that step, it actually unpacks everything, which brings everything for the most part over, except for your apps, which will be the last. And then your apps will be grayed out at first, and then they'll be filled in once the final step is done. So depending on how much stuff you have, this can take no time at all, maybe five minutes. For me, it typically takes about 20 to 30 minutes because I have a lot of apps and a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and finish up and then show you the finished product. All right, guys, now as you can see, everything has transferred over. So I have my new tablet all set up with everything from my old tablet. So it really was just a matter of moving everything over. I have rearranged some things, but overall it is just a better overall experience. Now this will also work with any iPad you may have as well as anything from Android. So if you are moving from an Android to a new tablet, the last thing I wanna remind you though is don't forget to take your micro SD card if you have one on your old tablet and put it on your new one. But yeah, it's seamless. All, everything, your settings, your Wi-Fi connections, everything has transferred so you don't have to set everything up again. It's a great ability to make sure that you always have it. So that is a little quick way to make sure you have transferred over everything you need. All right, guys, thank you as always so much for watching. Let me know what other videos you wanna see on the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. 
and right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.